Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today a user had a question about where files are in Tinkercad. Let me give you a walkthrough of the workspace. So I have classes because I was a teacher. You will likely have your start with designs. Now there are three kinds of designs. You can have 3D circuits or code blocks. Notice you can only see the most recent four unless you click over here to see them all. You can make collections that you store certain projects in. I have got a video about collections, so I'll give you a link to that up there. Notice the What's New workspace. You can collapse that so you can see more designs at once. You can also search. So say I want to find all of my car projects. If I click there and press enter, bingo, it pops up all the cars that I've created. Notice if I scroll to the bottom, you can see that I have four pages of cars in my list. There are also two kinds of projects. This is a public project. That means if you go to the gallery, you'll be able to find it. You'll see that there is a tutorial. There are also more instructions down below. And friends, of course, reactions are always appreciated. The other kind of design is a private design. These are designs I do not need to share with the world. And quite often you'll notice that there are many versions of something as I always click on them and I do duplicate to never break the different iterations as I'm building. The user also mentioned not understanding how the naming works. I will show you that real quickly. Whenever you launch any project, you can click right up here and change the name to whatever you want it to be. And then once you close, your most recently edited project will be to the left of the list. While we're in here, that was how to find your designs. Don't forget you can also visit the gallery. You will initially see the staff favorites. You can also click on this button so you can see more in one page. Once again, if you ever see one of my designs, there is a tutorial in the properties. And of course, reactions are appreciated. If you shut off the staff picks, you can check out all these little projects. Notice they do move, and if they're larger, you could actually see them better. If you see one that you think is awesome, make sure you click on it and give it a reaction. If it says remix, that means that they used copy and tinker from another user's design. Let's scroll down and find another one. <laughs> Absolutely love this cat. I'm going to give it an awesome, and I want to show you this. If you click View in 3D and are patient, it'll actually load so that you can check it out in every direction. Check it out. We can zoom, pan, and see everything about this epic cat. One last scroll and peek. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love El Vigilante. Let's give it a wow. Friends, I do want to quickly remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then also day one lessons, useful starters, and Tinkercad essentials. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.